you may or may not need at flight attendant training. It is, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.55 a.m. I've been, good morning, A. Thank you, girl. I've been up for about 40 minutes, and I'm going to get up officially, brush my teeth. I was going to shower, but I'm going to shower when I come back because I'm, the, I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to step out and go to Trader Joe's because my fridge has nothing to offer. I cannot make any type of breakfast. I made sure that I ate everything in my fridge, gave away all the other things that I wasn't, that I knew that I wasn't going to use for the remaining of the month since I am leaving for five weeks tomorrow. So I want to get like um, some like croissants so I can offer my mom when she comes. So come with me on this journey of packing to go to flight attendant training. Uh, such a freaking surreal moment here because it's like I've been praying for this moment and it's finally here like don't give up on your dreams guys whatever it is that you want to do in life apply yourself you will get there and once you get there embrace that moment I'm speaking to my future self embrace that moment enjoy every moment of it it's not going to be easy because if it was easy, everybody will do it. So stay focused and remember why you wanted all of this. Okay, so I'm going to get ready. A few moments later. Okay, guys, it's been several hours later and my hair is done. I plucked my eyebrows a little bit because the lady that I go to, she's nowhere to be found. She's going to be there on Thursday. I won't be here. I'll be in Florida. So, yeah, I did what I could. They look okay. And I popped, listen, stress, 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 stress. And I'm not even there yet. I want to show you guys everything that I am taking to flight attendant training and give you like a rundown of everything. I haven't seen some of these items in a lot of like YouTube flight attendant packing with me. So I just want to share what I have and maybe you can learn something or it could help you in your journey because if you're watching this clearly you're in the path of becoming a flight attendant so congratulations give yourself a round of applause for making it this far you're gonna do great i'm not gonna tell you not to be nervous because i'm already i'm nervous and i'm not even there but let's get right into everything that's on this table okay let's go guys this is sort of of an overview of everything that i will be taking to flight attendant training not including the clothes part this is just all miscellaneous things i guess to maintain my hygiene and overall health so over here we're going to start with the studying supplies i have a five subject notebook and it also has folder slits here so that's cool two other notebooks some highlighters a whole bunch of index cards speaking into existence because we are passing training and graduating so once I graduate I am going to write thank you notes to my trainers I also got this folder thing from the Dollar 25 store so I can put all the paperwork that they give us I also got some cotton swabs. I think that's what you call it, right? I don't know. These are going to be for when I do my nails. I invested in a UV light gel kit, so that's what this is for, and this as well, so I'm taking some aluminum for you too. I know I can get all these things over there, but I wanna get situated and not go out as much. I also got some snack bags, so like Ziploc bags, so I can make sandwiches and just snacks and have them at all times because I'm aware that we are going to have extremely long days and sometimes we won't have enough time in the day to actually like go out and eat. I got some kettle popcorn stuff here. 
this right here i have not seen anybody talk about this but i bought this in target and it was like 3.99 and the reason why i got this is because when i want to charge all of my gadgets i can just put it in one corner and then have everything in one place rather than having it everywhere in the hotel then i have some q-tips i'm aware these are not great for your ears but your girls still use them so i got a whole bunch of those I got some sesame honey almonds. These are so freaking good. They're addicting. This is the pack that I've already opened. And it's, guys, I'm telling you, it's so good. So I got two packs of those. And I bought a water bottle and also like a coffee cup. So I want to re obviously reuse them. So well, I'm taking a sponge with me. I have a variety pack of oat milk and also some teas. So I have this immune stress. I have two mints pack. Can't go wrong with mints. I got some cotton swabs or pads, whatever you call these. These are for like my face, when I do my face routine and stuff like that. A loofah, of course. Some alcohol wipes or pads because I use this to disinfect my phone and everything else that I use throughout the day. So I don't really love honey, but it, it is good in tea. So I'm taking this. I also got these candies I, i'm not a fan of like this but i saw it and i'm like you know what it doesn't hurt to just have it some sleepy tea just in case i'm having one of those nights where i just i'm tossing and turning some more uh tea this is the calm and chamomile i got some body butter from trader joe's this stuff is so good guys i got some nail polish remover i have some hairspray i put it in this uh container or spritzer i got this from the dollar 25 and it came with three packs and this was all that was in my hairspray bottles so i condensed it into this little one some feminine hygiene some lotion conditioner uh razor stuff again to do my nails I, in here I have miscellaneous things like my pearls, my make, my bronzer, mascara, stuff like that. Another pack of mascara just in case. A toothbrush, some bobby pins, some hair ties, more hair stuff just in case I want to do something spontaneous which I doubt but you never know. I also got a extra toothbrush to keep in my purse just in case again long days you don't want sticky breath my hair more hairspray hair products uh shampoo conditioner guys this stuff smells so freaking good my face stuff more face stuff i got i'm taking a hand soap again i know i can get these things over there but i want to have a touch of home in the space that i'm going to be living in for the next five weeks so my facial products more hair products contact solution body wash deodorant laundry detergent i got these at the dollar 25 store and i got two packs of those i got this from target i use this on a daily but these are like uh clorox bleach tablets instead of having the liquid form i have these i'm taking dishwashing soap a small one from the dollar 25 store i want to stay as healthy as i can just in case i ever feel down and out i have some airborne i have some aleve some excedrin because sometimes i get really bad migraines so never hurts to have some more some tylenol eyelash curler floss i got my makeup brushes which i really don't see myself using these we have to wear masks at all times so i don't see me wear makeup but maybe who knows and then these are my glasses uh cleaner my uh perfumes these makeup wipes from Burt's beads i think i went over there all oh, toothpaste an extra one i got this one at the dollar 25 just in case i run out with this one some cold medicine you just never know i have these lint rollers i have one in my uh tote bag some fabric softener i got some at home covid tests you can get these from i think is nycgovernment.com or something like that or that org i have these because your girl has buggers all the time tmi some uh dryer sheets some nipple tape just in case who knows some pantyhose mask pads i am taking my love sign because guys again i want to add a touch of home and i want to make that space 
my space and feel comfortable i am taking this steamer guys i bought this at target for 20 dollars what get yourself a steamer i wish it was cordless but for the price it's totally fine then i got all these like nail polishes that i bought from target not target from amazon another pack of nail polishes from amazon this is my electrical toothbrush charger more nail polishes this is the uv light that i bought from amazon and here i have all of my jewelry i am taking my revlon blowout brush and here i just have like chargers and miscellaneous stuff like pimple patches and stuff like that and then this is the pouch that i will be using for like my pencils my pens my sharpers highlighters and all of that i'm bringing my hard drive because i need this when i'm obviously editing and stuff like that I'm taking my own little trash bags because I don't know how frequently they're going to clean the room. So just bring some extra. And that is pretty much it as far as like things that I'm taking. Obviously, I'm going to take my straightener. I'm going to take my laptop, the chargers and stuff like that. But this is just an overview of everything that you may or may not need at training. I will keep you posted. But this is what I got so far. And yeah. Minus the clothes, like I said, I'm not going to include that in this because they're going to give you a list of things that you should bring with you and just follow that list and try to, you know, not overpack, but also not underpack. But before I let you go on everything that I'm taking, let me show you the tote bag that I'm taking with me. And I found this tote bag in Macy's and it was on sale. So don't sleep on Macy's, okay? So this is the tote bag and it's from the brand Ink or INC, whatever you want to call it. Already I have in there a pen, a chapstick, a EOS chapsticks or EOS, whatever. Again, airborne, you never know. I'm bringing my planner. This is the one thing that I think you guys should do. So go to your bank and take out singles, right? right here right now i have i think 22 dollars in singles and i watch a lot of youtube and i'm pretty sure you do because you're watching this this you're going to need well you don't need to but it's a great gesture and you will use singles to tip your driver your shuttle drivers so i am planning i think we're gonna be there for 28 days or 20 20 no not 20 whoa 30 something days i think 38 days so i have 22 dollars here so i need to take out a little bit more so i can have exactly 38 dollars for every single day and then i'm taking my planner because why not also i'm going to put my laptop in here i'm going to take an extra pack of masks in here just like that some lotion tissue a lint roller an umbrella at all times i have clorox wipes dollar 25 store and an extra deodorant just in case you never know you never know most important thing that you want to take to training is your passport so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was beneficial or helpful and in, in some type of way if there are things that i've missed that you think i should have taken leave it down in the comments below or if there's something that i should add to this list but if i can link link a lot of these things i will if i can't i am sorry but just go out there have fun enjoy the moment i know that you're extra nervous because so, I, so am i but i'm excited we wouldn't be in this path if it wasn't for us so just focus and do what you need to do and i'll see you guys in training bye guys Guys, day one was a freaking success. 